what is going on and welcome back to the next course and iteration in this davinci resolve training today we have a very exciting video again as we're going to start getting into transitions so uh we touched on it a little bit in the last video uh, but i really want to get a little bit more in depth and kind of show you guys what you can do with those transitions and if there is time we can get into audio transitions as well uh, it's not too bad with that one it's pretty quick short and sweet and um, definitely titles is probably going to be its own video because there's so much you can do with it so i want to keep this short and sweet so without further ado let's go ahead and jump into the software and let's get into some of these transitions all right so first off uh we need a timeline and clips to work with so uh as you guys can and already know go ahead and bring some footage into davinci resolve and let's go ahead and drag and drop some clips into the timeline and let's drag this mailbox thing right here all right so we got sprite bottle and then we have mailbox okay so we're going to do a transition between these two so in order to do a transition between the two of these uh, what we're going to need to do first is uh, you're going to need to first get your transition window open and that's usually located right here if you don't see it it's because you just need to hit this effects button okay so you see this effects button right up here click on that and then you're going to see all your effects open up right here and the first one that you should see is video transitions okay now there are a lot of transitions in here as you scroll down you can see a lot of different ones um again we're not going to get into all of these and i have downloaded some too yes you can download transitions um, from different sources like you know um, in vital elements and other platforms where people are making preset transitions but for now i just wanted to show you guys that i have a ton here and there are a lot already built into davinci resolve already okay but some of the main ones that you're mostly going to be using though is probably the additive dissolve blur dissolve and cross dissolve okay these are probably the main ones that you're going to want to use to start with um that's probably why they're the top ones here in davinci resolve to begin with so uh, but there are a lot of other ones like push i like to use and stuff like that where you can push this so you can see as i hover over it it already starts to do the transition on the clip so yeah i think that some of these are really really useful and depending on what you're trying to do okay so let's go ahead and go up to the cross dissolve this one's really interesting and it gets a lot of people um, but basically go ahead and click on this and drag it on over into your clip and as you'll see you're not able to drag it on to here it doesn't do anything okay now that is the number one thing that a lot of people face and the reason why it's not working um, is because all transitions they need video footage to work with so this clip ends right here and this one and this one starts right here so there's no video footage to like they're, they're equally matched right but they actually need to overlap so that the transition has footage to transition upon right so all we have to do to make that work is trim this back by clicking on the edge of the clip so that you see this icon right here okay with a little arrow and a little uh little bracket looking thing you want to see that you don't want to see that symbol right there you don't want to see this symbol what you want to see is that one and you want to just pull that back a little bit okay and then pull this one back a little bit as well for the opposite direction and now you want to bring these two together now you can bring these two together by clicking in on this empty space like i just did and you'll see it highlight and hit backspace on the keyboard okay now when you hit backspace on the keyboard what it does is it pretty much clears out that blank space okay now if you do your drag and drop your cross dissolve now you'll see this little gray bar of that transitioning happening so remember i told you, you need footage to to like overlap in order for this to work well if you notice the footage is playing while this transition is happening right so you see my sprite bottle still playing see it has a lot of footage to work with the sprite bottle is still playing even though we're in the other clip you guys see that i'm already crossed over but the sprite bottle is still slightly here so now you see why we did that trimming uh, because that footage needs or the transition needs footage to do the transition with okay it needs some of that clip otherwise there isn't any of a transition now there are some transitions that they don't need that but the cross dissolve and many of these will rely on some video footage to work with you know in order to do the transition okay so that right there is a lot i just dumped a lot with transitions already and uh, i don't want to end the video right here but i definitely want to show you guys a few other things uh, with transitions so um if you're here and you click on the transition like if you hover over it and click like right on it it'll highlight red as you can see right here okay 
And then we're gonna go over here to the far right corner and then you'll see something called the inspector area. If you don't see this, it's because you need to click on the inspector. Whoops, I just turned mine off. But you just need to click on inspector right here and you'll, uh, you'll see a lot more information, okay? The inspector is a lot of details on anything that you click on. In fact, if you click on a clip, you'll see the inspector of the video clip right here. If you hit video now, it's enabled and you can see the clips of the video. But we're talking about the transition right now. So we're gonna click on the transition, okay? And uh, the inspector is really, really cool. You can do a lot of things in the inspector, um, but right now we wanna mess with the transition. So if you look at the transition, you can you can determine like where it starts, like how it starts, um, you know, the start ratio. You can see how the beginning of the transition is here, but we're saying like, as soon as this kicks in, I want it to be mailbox mostly. <laughs> Okay, so, uh, or maybe you want it to, you know, last a lot longer. You know, see how I changed this number and it's now making this a lot longer when I change the duration here. You see how it stretches it a lot longer. So, again, the inspector is where you can make like little changes to like the properties of things. It's like the way I like to think of it. Okay, this is your properties window of whatever you have selected. All right, so, um, and that's pretty much it with transitions that I'm gonna talk about, mainly because there's so many things you can do with them. But um, that is that. But when you transition from one clip to another, you're probably gonna to wanna to have an audio transition as well. So let's go over here to the left hand side and let's go ahead and do a crossfade. A crossfade is makes it so that the video clips don't like jump in audio, they smooth audio. So it all sounds like one fluid recording. So if you ever wondered how movies and things, how they transition back and forth and it all sounds smooth, it's probably because they're doing a lot of crossfading and L cuts and J cuts and stuff like that, which we'll get into a little bit later. All right, so we're gonna do a crossfade on the audio, and then now you can hear the audio from uh, this one. It doesn't have any, but if there was, you would hear it smooth over into it like such. And of course, you can click on this as well too, and then you can get into the audio um, you know, transition right here on the right and talk about how long or short that lasts and things like that too, okay? Um, you see how these two are linked right now? They're like both highlighted. You wanna, maybe you wanna do one individually. All you have to do is hold Alt on the keyboard and click on one, and then you're gonna only affect that one, okay? So Alt, click, and then you get one at a time. I think if you click on one of them without Alt, I think it enables both, okay? So Alt, click, uh, when neither one of them is selected, so you have to click out here somewhere, and then you'll come back onto one, and then hit alt click and now you can just see the one here as a single entity okay so either way and then you can change and you know same thing like before all right so that is pretty much uh transitions in a nutshell definitely play around with different clips and play around with different transitions to see which ones that you personally like and definitely get some audio in here to see how it kind of blends those two audio together and how you don't get that harsh jump in audio i think that's going to really elevate your video already knowing that alone okay because a lot of people are not crossfitting audio when they're doing video editing when they first start off because they just haven't been taught to all right all right guys so that will conclude uh this week's or this uh evening's um training course i hope that you guys uh found that to be useful and uh next week um or actually i don't know why i keep saying week what is going on but tomorrow <laughs> i've been doing these every day um but tomorrow we're gonna get into titles okay so we're good with video transitions and audio transitions um let's get into titles i think titles is a really really cool one i think that you guys will find that really really interesting okay so i hope you guys are having a great evening and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video all right take care